What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And this is a little different from the gaming videos I've been making lately, but I think it's very important because it does affect channels like this, all of the gaming channels I watch, including one uh, specifically, Review Tech USA. Vox Media has done an oopsie. The Verge has done an oopsie. And if you are familiar with Vox and The Verge, they are people who love to be openly very critical of every YouTuber every time they ever make even the slightest misstep. In fact, an astute observer might actually say that it was because of the Vox and The Verge and The Wall Street Journal too, by the way, that the, the entire adpocalypse happened to begin with and that's why it sucks so bad to make YouTube videos these days. And they would be right to say that. But if you are critical of Vox, if you're critical of Verge, you got to be really careful now because they have now struck at least one video that was critical of a video that they put out. And look, I'm not here to argue the tenets of fair use. That's already been decided in a court of law by H3H3's lawyer. If you want to make a commentary video, a reaction video, in which you show small clips of the video and then react to those clips, it's absolutely okay to do that. YouTube should support it because the law supports it. Vox Media, The Verge, doesn't support it. Logged into Twitter today, and I do follow Rich, and I saw this in my timeline. This literally just got tweeted out a few minutes ago. Have a watch. So it's not just happening to me. Out of nowhere today, um, I get a strike on one of my videos. I'm like, what the hell? Why do I have a strike? So I look, and it was, let's cringe at The Verge's PC build video. That oh, and it looks like Rich is not the only person to get hit by this today. Kyle from uh, Bitwit actually got hit as well. Now, I do trust Rich here when he says that this is the epitome of fair use. This is the correct thing to do. I know Rich knows the rules and has been a YouTuber for a really, really long time. So I know that his video would have been within the realm of fair use. The reason Vox is doing this is not because they feel their copyright is being infringed. They are doing it because they don't like people being critical of this video. And the reason we know this is because Verge has completely eradicated this video from the internet to the best of their ability and spoken out about it. When you go to the original post at The Verge, you find this editor's note that says an earlier version of this article included a video guide detailing similar steps on how to build a PC. Unfortunately, that video included the number of errors in the build process, and as a result, we have removed it from this article. We have also updated this article to improve the order of the steps in the process. And if you find the original video, this is an upload of it right here, but I'm sure they'll get rid of it eventually. Uh, this re-upload will show you what was wrong, because this guy clearly doesn't know how to build a PC. He gives a lot of misinformation, a lot of bad advice. He applies the thermal paste incorrectly. If you did what this guy told you to do, you would waste your computer parts. Trust me, you, you would be ruining your system. And the video is just so hysterically wrong that a lot of people, including Rich, made commentary videos about it, including some very big tech channels. Out of the Verge's credit, if you go check YouTube, you will see there's still at least a couple of uh, reaction videos still up. Here's one, you know, 500K, 900K, 900K. So they haven't struck them all yet, uh, but they definitely struck Rich's. But this isn't a copyright flag, by the way. This is a copyright strike. It's not that they flagged it so that they could take the revenue from it and you can still leave the video on the channel. It means they have struck the video. Rich's video has been removed. He's got a strike on the channel. If you get two more strikes, three total strikes, you're out. Your channel is just removed from YouTube. And along with that first strike, by the way, comes a host of punishments. They cut off certain features, including the ability to live stream for, I think, it's the next 30 days, which is something Rich does here on YouTube from time to time. He does live stream here. So this will affect his livelihood. The Verge basically treated all of these videos as if they were toxic. They treated these videos as if they were some sort of harassment campaign. And even though I've had trouble finding the context of this, uh, Rich did a response video, and in his response video, he included this little snippet from The Verge, where they said, last week, The Verge published a video on how to build a gaming PC. Today, we're pulling that video off our YouTube and Facebook pages because it contains some minor factual errors that in some do not meet our editorial standards. I also want to reiterate that The Verge has zero tolerance for internet harassment campaigns, and we will automatically disregard any feedback that appears to be in bad faith or part of such a campaign. Look, I don't condone personal attacks ever. If you attack the person who wrote that article, if you attack the person who was in that video, obviously, no, I condemn that. Do not do that. Reacting to the video, talking about the misinformation, correcting the misinformation, making jokes about it, all of that is fair use and is absolutely acceptable and okay or here on YouTube. YouTube clearly supports it. 
the creators, the viewers clearly support it. Vox, if you mess up, people are going to make jokes at your expense. Trust me, I know I've built a career off of it. Criticizing a piece of content that you create or criticizing a person in the media is not a harassment campaign, okay? And it doesn't give you the right to strike or copyright flag videos. I myself have a dozen, hundreds of people that are critical of me every day who upload YouTube videos and live streams that are critical of me, sometimes withholding misinformation. To cutting clips to make me look bad. Do I copyright strike that stuff? Do I copyright flag that stuff? No, I don't. I let them do what they need to do because it's okay to criticize me and it's okay to criticize you guys as well. But Vox is a company that pioneers every single day harassment campaigns against YouTubers like PewDiePie. If PewDiePie so much as accidentally mentions a channel that has questionable content in it on a video, Vox goes nuts. They lump on, they pile on. They are some of the most critical people on the internet. And I would say what they have against PewDiePie and other YouTubers is a harassment campaign. Even if it's not, it spearheads one. And this is the kind of hypocrisy that even I will stand up against. Because you know me, I'm a pacifist. I am a centrist supposedly. I'm somebody who doesn't want to be involved in the fight. I just want to supply commentary. But this is one of those things that as soon as I heard about, I ran into here to signal boost Rich and Kyle. You genuinely cannot be the company that is one of the most critical uh, publications on the internet that criticizes YouTubers for every little misslip that's had a huge impact on my life, on every YouTuber's life, because you are one of the major reasons the adpocalypse ever happened, and then not expect to be criticized when you make mistakes. It is absolutely, absurdly hypocritical to think that's okay for you, and I cannot believe cannot believe you are abusing YouTube's copyright system to pull it off. But apparently Vox has never heard about the Streisand effect. I guess they wanted to bury this and it's absolutely not going to happen because I'm making a video about it and when we're done here, you're going to go make a video about it. You're going to download that original video. You'll re-upload it somewhere to make sure that it's always visible. You can make your own commentary video about it and dare the folks at Vox to strike you the way they have struck Rich. I hope they strike me. I really do. Vox, here we are. I showed some of your copyrighted footage. Come at me. But this is the state of YouTube now. The people who have criticized the platform so much that almost everything has been completely demonetized are now abusing the very system they have been critical of because it dared be critical of them. Yep. All right, guys, I will link to Review Tech USA and Bitwit down in the description box below if you guys want to check them out and offer them some support during this trying time where they are risking uh, losing their channel for daring criticize Vox. I think it would be really great if you guys did that. If you enjoy videos like this, let me know in the comments section below. Drop a like on this video so you let the YouTube algorithm know you enjoy these videos as well. Hit subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so. And if you have, hit that notification bell because it really makes sure that you get to come back and see videos like this. I'm sorry for coming in so hot lately. Man, I'm mad though. <laughs> Woo! This is what happens when I take my medication.